uh, with particularly our communications team and others based here at IDS. Quickly an overview of the program, I think June will go into more detail, but we have designed the program to allow for uh, discussion of the issues raised in the many panel sessions uh, in several plenaries, and the idea is that these plenaries are going to draw us back to some key intellectual, political, strategic and policy debates. We have our very formidable uh, opening panel this morning. After tea, we'll have a further panel in this room uh, dealing with conceptual perspectives on land grabbing. And then we'll have parallel sessions for the rest of the day. Tomorrow's morning's plenary is entitled Framing the Debate. Uh, we then have two panel sessions before and after lunch. And late afternoon, uh, we move into a policy round table in plenary which is entitled Perspectives from Multilateral and Bilateral <coughs> Development Institutions. We have quite a marvellous array of key spokespeople from such institutions, and we fully expect a fiery and lively discussion. On Friday, we come straight back into plenary in the morning for perspectives from social movements and civil society, and we're very pleased to have some key spokespeople from important institutions of social movements and farmers' organisations, and also to have some, quite a good geographic spread. We then have two more panel sessions, and our final plenary on Friday will take the form of a concluding conversation. Instead of having formal rapporteurs who would summarize the whole content of the conference, we've asked four key individuals to move around the panel sessions. We call them our hunter-gatherers, uh, and their just task is to hunt down important new evidence, gather incisive insights, and share these in some format with the group in our final session. And they'll provide their own takes on what new understandings have been brought out through this conference and what this implies for agendas for policy, research and activism. Uh, we have a few detailed announcements. Firstly, uh, there's been a lot of media interest in this event and we've got several journalists here. We're also filming the plenary sessions for podcasting on our website and there are, I think, two documentary film teams here as well. Uh, all journalists are wearing media badges, so you'll know who they are and decide whether you want to speak to them. Um, for journalists, there is a media room if you'd like to talk quietly to people. Room 152 on this level is available. Uh, if anyone would prefer your comments in plenary not to be recorded for the podcast, please say so before you speak. Um, otherwise, we'll just assume that you've given your consent. Um, also, several people are going to be part of a small press conference at lunchtime. That's, that will take place in the Knotts meeting room on this floor. Um, and just before we get going with the content, which I'm sure is where we want to be, I want to make a couple of small announcements. You can tweet during this conference, if you wish. Uh, the conference uh, discussions will be tweeted via hash land grab conf. And uh, my colleague in uh, class in Cape Town will be retweeting to several global networks all the tweets that come from participants here. If you're not tweeting, please put your cell phone off. And if you are tweeting, please put it on silent. Silent tweets. Um, right. Now we can uh, get going with this uh, wonderful panel that we have here. I'd like to introduce our speakers. Uh, we're just too many people for us all to introduce ourselves, but when you speak, in plenary or in panels, please start by introducing yourself and your institution, and hopefully we'll all know each other a bit better by the end of Friday. So for a welcoming note, I would like to welcome uh, Professor Lawrence Haddad, who is director of IDS, uh, and therefore also our host. He was formerly with IFPRI, the International Food Policy Research Institute, and also is a member of the high-level panel of experts of the United Nations FAO Committee on World Food Security, and therefore, of course, also a significant actor in the policy sphere that we're discussing here. So thank you very much, Lawrence, for being here.